If you want to hear my thoughts on Glow Wish by Huda Beauty's brand new skin tint and bronzers, stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Latifa Olu, if you know me. So today I'm going to be reviewing more Huda goodies. You know what? I'm quite enjoying Huda at the moment. Being completely honest, I'm quite enjoying Huda at the moment. Well, I'm, I'm enjoying testing her products anyway. I mean, good, bad, whatever. I mean, she's putting out things that are of interest at the moment. So she's got... Is it a sub brand? I'm not sure, but it's called Glow Wish by Huda Beauty. And essentially it is a skin tint. So we've got a skin tint, I'll put that on the side. We've got a skin tint and we've got bronzers as well, which, did she have bronzers before? No, she didn't. She had Tantal, but that was like a contour bronzer. So this is the first foray into bronzers. And this is the first foray into skin tint for her because she's always been hella full coverage. That said, one of my favorite products from hers at the moment, aside from the Tantal, actually there's quite a few products I quite like from the uh, brand, but this foundation stick, this is amazing. It's so skin-like, it's actually ridiculous. So I'm keen to see if this skin tint is comparable. So, without further ado, let's get buzzing. Right, now I picked up two bronzers, so I've got two bronzers here, and I have also picked up, obviously, the found, oh, skin tint. I picked up the skin tint in Deep Tan. Now, they have a kind of sh shade chart. I'll put up a picture here so you can see what it is, and it kind of helps you decide what colour you're going to be. Yeah, and with the, I did say I've picked up Deep Tan, yeah, which is number 10, and there's quite a, there's quite a few shades for a skin tint. It's quite a few shades. She did, she did the thing well. And the bro the bronzer I've picked up, Rich, which I know is going to be too dark, but I, I love having dark bronzers. I will find some. I will find some way to use it. Don't don't worry. And I also picked up Deep Tan, which is number four. So I've got number four and number five. Now this is what they look like. So this is number five. I'm going to pop that up. So the packaging looks like this. So I think for this sub brand it's all recyclable so this is why it looks like that it's very it's a very different aesthetic to what we're used to from huda i personally don't mind mind it i'm here for it because what you do what do you do with this otherwise um you throw it away when you're done with it it still feels high-end maybe not luxe but definitely still feels like a high-end product so that's okay and it's got a high-end price tag attached to it so so this is the deep tan so i'm gonna be nice and close that's the deep tan and this is the rich i'm gonna put it nice and close and again i believe this has got five shades of bronze as well so she's i think for a first stab at it who's mad not me so i've got the windows open it's really hot in the uk for once i'm just gonna put them side by side it's really hot in the uk for once and a little story about that it's hot in the uk i have natural hair which is currently blow dried and i went to the gym so deep that it's really hot i have natural hair which is currently uh, blow dried and I went to the gym today so this isn't coming off because my hair is a hot mess so um, please and thank you right. leave it okay cool and we also have the skin tint now this is what it looks like this is what the shade this is kind of a pearlescent pump you can't see it it's not going to pick it up but it is pearlescent it's, pr it's pretty simple let's have a quick look at the color Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so I've just pumped that out. Now for a skin tint, it's quite thick. I would expect a skin tint to be a tint. That feels like quite a bit of coverage. But it's disappearing like very nicely on the skin, but that's, hmm, it's a little bit, that's, that's a lot of coverage. Okay, I'm gonna have to get this on the skin. Okay, let's not talk about it anymore. Let's get this straight on the skin because that's confused me a little. Okay, so we're gonna do one pump. And I do like the fact that it does have a pump. And I'm gonna do what I always do. And I'm going to, so this is it on the back. There you go. So we're gonna go. Hmm. Okay. This doesn't feel like a skin tint. Oh! Okay. okay. This feels like Maybe I'm just prejudging it because it's thick and I didn't expect it. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, because that, that feels good, but I've got barely any blemishes here, so I can't really tell what's going on. It looks fine. I wanna try it. So I've got a birthmark right here. It's kind of green. 
I want to try it there because I would expect a skin tint, all the skin tints I've ever tried, my birthmark generally shows through. And I've also got like a cluster of just like, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got a cluster of like little dark spots. I'm just going to see if it's going to cover my birthmark or not. Cause I'm trying to gauge the coverage. Okay, it's peeping but I get the feeling if I add more I'll be able to cover it and with most skin tints adding more doesn't do much interesting okay so first thoughts it's light coverage it's not a tint it's light coverage and depending on what you're after it's not horrid all right I'm gonna keep playing with this I'm gonna put it all over my face the only thing is funny enough it's all over my face and I can't see where I've put it and where I haven't apart from my upper lip I can't see where I've put it and I haven't. So it is a good match to my skin. But there's coverage. Like this is covered way more than I would expect it to be. But it's nice. It's nice. All right, blend. Okay, so this is it completely blended. It's very glowy like here and here. Mm. Mm. I don't hate it. Uh, I would definitely need to powder this. It feels like I've had it on a few hours. That's, that's the kind of vibe it's giving me. Like, you know when you've had foundation on a few hours? Like, 10. <laughs> that's what it's giving me. And I only use one pump, as you saw. So what I'm going to do is, because... And it is, it's not sheer. I'm not going to lie to you. It's light. It's not what I expected at all. But I don't hate it, because I still like, like, coverage foundations anyway. One minute, I'm take a sponge. And I'm going to see if I can take off some of that shine by removing any extra product. I don't think this is the kind of thing you can just go out and about on the road in like oh I want to put on a skin tint and a bit of mascara and go out and this is it I'm not sure this is it I feel like I look like I might have makeup on all right cool I'm gonna do my eyes I'm gonna set all of this now I'm gonna do my eyes and I'm gonna put my concealer on I'm gonna come back on camera to set it so you can see what it looks like set and then we'll, we'll do the bronzers mm -hmm. all right be right back. Right, so I am going to set my face with the Armani Luminous Silk Fusion Glow Powder. I said it right? Yeah, close enough. Because I want you to see how it looks. So this is it, it's unset there. I'm just gonna put that over it. Still wanna keep it relatively light because you know, it's supposed to be a tint, even though it's not a tint. It's light coverage. Like this is, it's light coverage and that's okay. And I think, oh, you know what it is actually? This is a skin tint for Huda. Yeah, this is how Huda does skin tints because if you think about her full coverage, this makes perfect sense that this would be the skin tint, <laughs> to be honest with you. And it's not horrible. Like, I like light coverage foundations. That's actually my preference. It's just not a skin tint, you know? All right. So that's it set. Mm, it's not too bad. Still quite pretty. All right, let's bronze. So first I'm going to go in with the tan colour. Let's show you what it looks like on the finger so you've got an idea. So this is what it looks like on my finger. So this is the tan. This is probably looks like an everyday kind of bronzer for me. I'm going to put it on this side. And push it up. So I'm not... Okay, yeah, I can see it. Okay, there she is. Oh, she's nice. She's warm. She's nice. I'm gonna push her into my hairline. She's nice, but this is very everyday for me. Let's get into it. Very everyday for me, so. And it's very buildable. And it's got, is it me or is there a slight sheen? It's not matte matte. So I'm gonna go a little ham just so you, it comes up on camera. I probably wouldn't put this much on in real life. I'm just gonna go a bit. There you go, I just want you to be able to see it, to be honest with you. Okay, so that's quite nice, I like that. I'm gonna put a little bit more on the forehead so you can see the contrast between that and the highlighter that I've put here. Yeah, this is nice, it's warm, it's every day. It's autumn, winter. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's kind of diffuse that a little bit. It's nice 
pretty. I'm not mad at that at all. Now let's have a look at this side. See now, I can see it, I'm not sure if you guys, you can see it, but I can see it like that. I'd be interested to see what the, how the contrast between the light and the dark is. So again, the dark looks like that. And I'm gonna take the same side. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe I shouldn't put so much. I'm just gonna turn my head this way. I'm gonna put it out there. Now that one's instantly more visible. But it's also slightly cooler. Apologies, I thought the window opens so every time a car passes. Y'all gonna hear it. I like them both. They're both nice. This isn't, it's not coming off as nearly as dark as it looks in the pan, and in the pan it does look dark. It does look dark. My first thought, so I'm gonna see how buildable this is, because I'm like, well, this is showing up okay on me. What about our Nubianas? What's it gonna do for the Nubianas? Because, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it in the middle so we can see if there's a nice contrast between one side and the other. Okay, actually, remember I said it was cooler. It's not. It's quite red actually. But this is what a bronzer should be, so we're happy about that. Can you see how red that is? I've got it all in my headband now. Okay. All right, let's compare side by side. So this is the darker side. It's quite red, but in a good way. And then this is the more kind of natural, soft, warm, but soft side. I like them both. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take the darker one and put it over on this side and see how they layer on top of each other. Oh, this is a bit of me. Together, I love it. Well, together, that's quite nice. I'm starting to look a little bit burnt though, but yeah, together, that's nice. Okay, and let's just even out our jawline. It's quite nice. Together, they're lovely. I'm just gonna use the tan one on this side because that's gonna be even. I'm gonna go like this. They layer quite nicely over each other. I've got way too much on. If you're starting to see like quite a stark line, I've got too much on. But it's okay, I wanted you guys to be able to see what she looks like. But as you can see, it's getting quite stark. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right then, let's do final thoughts. Okay, we're all done, it's all finished up. Thoughts. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the foundation or the skin tint. I mean, it's more of a, to me, it's more of a light foundation, which is fine, but it's definitely not a skin tint. I mean, if we're talking about Huda, then yes, all right, fair enough. Okay, this is as close as we're gonna get for Huda, considering she is Miss Full Coverage, you know? But it definitely doesn't give that kind of skin-like finish. It's, it's, it is light, but it's not skin-like. It's not like the uh, Fenty Ease Drop, which is literally skin. Or well, actually, even I tried the NYX Bear With Me recently, and that one, skin. Morphe has some as well, skin. I haven't tried the Isma Cosmetics one, but I do have it, but I haven't tried it. Again, yeah, it's just, it's not giving skin, but it is beautiful on the skin. It is beautiful on the skin, but is it giving skin? No, no ma'am, no, 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 no. But that said, I'm not mad at it. It's quite nice. But just remember as well, when I first got the new Luminous Matte Foundation, I hated that, but that's because the coloring was off as well. But I hated that and then I tried it for a few weeks and actually, I really like it, really like it. So I'm gonna give this one, a go and we'll see how we get on with it but like the finish on the skin like, I'm looking at my skin I'm like who's mad not me darling not at all darling it's pretty and because it is a skin tint and because it is lightweight the match is really good like the match is really really good but again you would expect that for something that's so sheer purely because it doesn't have to be a perfect match it kind of blends into the skin which this does do but doesn't give you that skin like finish there's coverage this has got coverage all right the bronzers now i'm a bronzer queen okay when it comes to uh, bronzers i am you know i'm a connoisseur as it was these are nice they're okay i need to play with them a bit more because i don't love them i don't hate them 
I'm just kind of meh about them. They're not the worst bronzers I've tried, but they're not the best either. I felt more inspired by others that I've tried well by on the first go. I need to play with these a bit more to, I think, have more opinion. It's nice on the skin. It's not too matte. It's not too dry. It's given what it needs to give. I'll give it that. It's given what it needs to give. But you need to build it up because even the darker one i thought okay maybe the tan is too light for me no because even the darker one it needed building up but then you've got to be careful that you don't go too far the nice thing is if you use the finishing powder you can kind of tone it down because i was starting to look a bit tangoed but the finishing powder has made it seamless you know you know tricks of the trade and all of that but yeah i'm not mad at these i'm not mad at these they're great do i love them not yet i'm going to try them a bit more i'm going to play with them a bit more and we'll see how i feel about them in the long run but as a first goal for her yeah they're good they don't make my heart sing in the same way i remember I, when i first tried the tanto i was like oh my god this is freaking amazing like what is this likewise with this contour oh not contour this foundation stick i have a contour shade that's why i said that I was like, this is fantastic, this is phenomenal. Look at it, skin, 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 skin. Whereas this, I'm like, oh, this is nice. This is nice. So I'm gonna play with it a bit more. I've got a feeling I will love it. I just need to learn how to use it. So yeah, I'm on the fence about that one. That one goes either way. I mean, my phone is away anytime soon, they're fine, you know? So yeah. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. So there's, um, I mean, I've not been very helpful, have I? Because I'm a bit iffy about them both. I'm not sure I'd watch this review and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah I need them. I'd be like, eh, I'm going to watch her round up in May. That's what I did there. I'm going to watch her round up in May and see what she's saying, which if she still likes them before I buy them. Anyway, back to back day. If you like my video, please like, please subscribe, please share if you care, and I will see you in the next one. That's right, I'm not taking this off. What do you think I look like? You can see my hair. I look crazy. Okay, that's enough of this stuff. Bye.